up, gamers? Get ready to get spooked because we're gonna watch the scariest TikToks out there. So I hate scary things, so I don't know what I'm doing. I this. hate scary things too. I'm Why am scared I here? already. I don't like this image. I don't like anything I like about this. I I hate dolls. Me too. I I why do people get dolls? It's like why? something's trapped inside of that, like there's Literally. a soul inside what? that doll. Ah, right? I hate this. I'm scared already. So if you're part of the percentage that is not already subscribed, subscribe right now. All right, meme god, I'm covering my eyes like the entire time. In 2013, this was a very popular gift that parents were getting their children. Yeah, what's wrong with the Elsa doll? And it was to sing the popular song, Let It Go. And she also spoke certain sentences from the film. Now, at That's first, pretty cool, bro. That's pretty cool that toy. Yeah, what's- wait. <laughs> I'm so scared for a jump scare, dude. I- I- I'm not mentally prepared for this. All of a sudden, James Charles is gonna pull out, Hey, sisters! <laughs> hey, sisters! <laughs> Completely normal, but one What's day completely in 2015, normal? this doll stopped speaking English and what? randomly started to speak Spanish. There wasn't a button to change <laughs> the language, it just started happening randomly. And then the doll started talking even when it was turned off and even when the batteries what? were What's out. scary the about that? That's so just funny. That they wait, wait, what? Did you just hear that? W hear what? She just said the doll was talking without batteries. Alright, I'm gonna head out. <laughs> I'm gonna head out. <laughs> But a couple weeks after they did this, they walked in the house and found the doll sitting in a bench in their living room. The what? husband wrapped it up in two bags and put it in the bottom of the garbage can once again. Then they went on vacation, and when they got back home, they found the doll sitting in their backyard. Burn the house! Burn it all! Burn everything in a hundred mile radius and then nuke it ten times! I, I see a Mickey Mouse right here, man. I, that's already crazy, Why is the man. Mickey Mouse so scared? There's no way this is in real life. There's no way. And in Disney World parks that people are forbidden to go to. In this first video, I'm going to be talking about- Wait, what? There's like abandoned Disney parks? That's possible? ...about a park called Discovery Island. Whoa. This is located in the middle of Disney World's Bay Lake, and it's only accessible by boat. The purpose really? of Discovery Island that's was to showcase cool. interesting birds and protect wildlife. It was housing 500 different endangered species. Well, that's that's really nice. 500 different types of birds? I mean, that's a good kind of park, you know? Just for an island? Yeah, seriously. Like, I would want to go there. Yeah, and they're helping the endangered, like, species. But the island had to close this park on April 4th of 1999. And now why? you're not even allowed to get within 50 feet of its shoreline. Now, there's many what? reasons why it closed. Why? There were free roaming alligators everywhere, which was so dangerous. Apparently, the animals were being treated really badly. And there was... Oh! Not the birds! You know, like, zookeepers actually do this, right? Like, they, they treat animals so bad. But the zookeepers, they're supposed to be nice. An 11 year old was killed from a brain eating bacteria. He freaked everybody out. And brain eating bacteria? Where are these coming from? You can't tell me you're like scared of germs and then. I am scared of germs. I'm slightly a germaphobe, yeah. but now brain eating bacteria? Yeah. Hold the phone. I understand why they closed the park now if there was a brain eating bacteria and loose alligators. That makes sense. You guys need to see. <laughs> ah! what? what is wrong? with you dude this is how i feel like when i'm at the dentist most of these pictures i'm about to show you came from like the early 1900s and they'll blow your mind this was a facial ice box that came out in 1966 oh. to do what what are you trying to like make a smoothie from your face what are, what are you trying to do like <laughs> you know what this makes sense like how do they figure out all the stuff that we use today like how did they figure out all of this stuff they must have tried like so many weird things you know like you know yeah. what i'm talking about like how did they figure out let's say like you use some sort of like um some sort of cream to put on your face for like acne right how did they figure that stuff in the first place they must have tried things like this you know yeah like ice and burning your face yeah like exactly dude this was a perm machine in 1909 it looks like a medieval torture device that was the perm machine that looks like she's getting her brain juice like sucked out of her that literally is sucking out her brain it's literally sucking out her brain she has no brain look at her she has no soul no soul look at her. it's all gone it's it's all gone. This is a beauty micrometer. Ah! What are you doing here? This is a beauty micrometer from the 1930s. What's a beauty micrometer? Its purpose was to take detailed measurements of a woman's face in order to identify her flaws. This was made to see what your flaws were as a person? That's so messed up. So like you measure like what? Like if you're like- If let's say your nose was too big or you know, your left side was not matched to the right side. Why would you do that? I don't think people realize that everyone's face is asymmetrical. No one has a perfect face. Exactly. 
exactly. And why were they doing this in like the 1930s? Like, that's so freaky. I think it makes sense because you know what 1920s were? It was like people were addicted to becoming the best human, like comparing humans to God. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. I mean, if you imagine God, you imagine someone that's like a perfect being, basically, right? So you try to be as perfect as you can. I mean, that's kind of what we all are trying to do. I mean, some of us, like I'm trying to get in shape. I got plastic surgery, you know, to, to look yeah. better. Oh, oh God, that's me. <laughs> This was a freckle freezer from the early 1900s. A freckle freezer? Back in the freezer. day, they thought freckles were ugly, which honestly is ridiculous. This is a heat map. That is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> is that Pac-Man? <laughs> yeah, she's right. Why would people get rid of freckles? And why is there Pac-Man here? This guy, he looks like a fish and Pac-Man <laughs> at the same time. Imagine this knocking on your door at Halloween. I, I would scream. I would scream. Have you ever wondered why the Mad Hatter went mad? I'm sure we all know that the Mad Hatter is a character from the Disney movie this? Alice in Wonderland. That uh, uh, from Alice in the Wonderland? I don't know. I, he wasn't... Was he in the movie? I don't think so. But why is the Mad Hatter mad? Let's find out. He's known for his insane personality and oversized green top hat. Alice He's pouring hot tea down his neck <laughs> and out of his shirt? How is it? He's built different, bro. <laughs> He's literally built different. Now, what most people don't know is that the term... Oh, no. you seen the... i seen the Mad Hatter. He was in the movie. This guy. You I thought that was Willy Wonka. No, that's the Mad Hatter. No, this guy's really crazy. I thought that was Willy Wonka. No, this is Willy Wonka. This is Willy Wonka. That's Mad Hatter. They look you nothing can't alike. Tell me. Look at it. They look the same. This guy just has like a clown DLC on him. <laughs> <laughs> Mad as a Hatter was actually a popular phrase back in the 1800s before Alice in Wonderland was even written. And it really? was literally referring to the men who used to make hats back in that time and lost their minds due to the chemicals they were using. Oh, that's a dark past. Wait, what do they mean by losing their minds? Back in the day, there was no like rules or regulation. Like these days, people are smart. You wear like masks when you work in factories and stuff. And there's like certain chemicals you can't use. But back in the 1900s, that didn't exist. You just worked with ever chemicals you used, like yeah, some insane yeah, yeah. stuff. And there was no protection or anything. You just breathed it in. So there was probably something they used to make hats. That is some chemical that's probably like banned to use today. Dude, brain eating bacteria. Bacteria. The it's brain all coming bacteria. together. It's all coming together. Ah! Okay, what's so dark about this? Easy bake? Easy bake? I, I think I had one of these. Really? I had one of these, but I was too stupid. I like <laughs> actually use it. But it says <laughs> easy <laughs> bake. How could you be too It was stupid? not easy, bro. It was pretty difficult, man. <laughs> horrible accident that happened with the Easy Bake Oven. What? Back in February of 2007, what? Hasbro had to recall one million units of the Easy Bake Oven. One million? Good thing you didn't know how to use it, Meme God. They received almost 300 reports of children getting their fingers stuck in the door of the oven. Some kids had- <laughs> That happened to me! But I got out. That's so freaky! Oh no! You get your fingers stuck in an oven and have it burn? Oh! Such severe burns that they had to have their fingers and Oh! True stories are scarier than other stories, man. Oh, easy bake. That's not easy at all, man. They're, they're frying kids. The specific model that was recalled was made of purple and pink plastic. Purple and it pink. resembled a kitchen range with four burners on top and a front loading oven. When I heard about these horrific accidents, I was so freaked out because I loved playing with this toy as a kid. It was like my favorite ever. Please comment if you ever had this specific recalled model. That's so crazy. Wait, so they're, they're literally had to amputate little kids? Yeah, that's like insane. That's insane. Like, just imagine. I don't know if those like those CEOs or people that worked in that company even care, but like you have to live with that burden. I mean, I wouldn't even be able to live with myself, man. That's crazy. Oh no, what's wrong with Play-Doh? No! You should throw out your old Play-Doh containers. Throw it Pictures out. Pictures have been coming out lately about what happens when a container of Play-Doh sits for a few <laughs> years without being played with. They start growing what is called sodium chloride crystals. And people have even given them the name alien what? spores. Aliens? What's in Play-Doh anyway, dude? Oh, and I touched that when I was a kid. I'm gonna die. This is because Play-Doh is made of flour, water, salt, and a binding agent. Wait, that doesn't sound that bad. And when the water evaporates, crystals form. And people are freaking out. 
That looks kind of cool, but at the same time, it looks like yeah. like spiky hairs with lots of dandruff. And it looks like kind of looks like fireworks, but like frozen in the. It looks like this. It's about to explode. Yeah. Because the rumor says that it has a potential of exploding if it gets. You said oh. it looked like it was gonna explode. Play-Doh can explode. That's pretty cool, bro. Cool. Okay, that is pretty cool, but that's pretty freaky. Well, if you guys want to listen to some more creepy true stories, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow.